So here are the ingredients for the famous Christmas cake or mum's Christmas cake. We have eight ounces of flour, eight ounces of butter, four eggs. We have one pound of seedless raisins, one pound of currants, three ounces of glass of cherries and four ounces of mixed peel. We have eight ounces of soft brown sugar. We have some lemon rind and we also have spices such as mixed spice, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger and also vanilla extract. So now let's start making our Christmas cake. When we make Christmas put cake, the first step is to prepare the fruit. So we've got one pound of raisins here, and we're also going to add uh, currants. Currants, okay. How many currants? One pound of currants. One pound of currants, and what else? We're going to use glass of cherries and mixed peel. Mixed peel, okay. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to soak all the um, dried fruit in brandy and leave it overnight before we then start making the Christmas cake mixture tomorrow. You need to add three ounces of glacé cherries. Uh, we say glacé cherries in English, but really they are candied cherries. And glacé cherries is a very important part of any Christmas cake and even English fruit cakes. This is a zester to create the lemon zest. Add four ounces of mixed peel. Well, peel of an orange, I think. But it's candied mixed peel. Okay. Then the fruit okay. is soaked overnight with brandy, the most popular alcoholic drink for kicking in England. Very important parts of the recipe for Christmas cake. You can see that all the mixed fruit has been mixed in together now. Cream the soft brown sugar with the butter until you've got a nice soft texture. That the sugar and butter is nicely creamed together, we're now going to add the lemon rind. And then we actually have to add the spices. So we're going to add some ginger. Add the ginger. Not too much. Then the cinnamon. This is cinnamon from Sainsbury's. Okay, uh, then this is very important in Christmas cooking is nutmeg. We haven't got much left, but that's okay. Take the top off. Yeah, lots of nutmeg. And then we also need to add the vanilla extract as well. Mixed spice. and a bit of vanilla essence. It's very difficult to open. And then afterwards, uh, we're going to mm. add the eggs one by one and beat it in. Add the uh, four eggs to the mixture and then mix the eggs very well with the butter mixture. Then you sieve 
the eight ounces of flour, self raising flour, I must add, to the egg and butter and sugar mixture. By sieving, you're making sure that the flour is very fine. You actually mix the dried fruit, which has been soaking in brandy for one night, into the flour mixture and the advantage of actually making your own Christmas cake is that you can decide what ingredients you'd like to have. Um, some people obviously don't like alcohol in their cooking, some people are diabetic, um, people are gluten intolerant so they can't have wheat flour and so they'll use other types of flour so yeah some people like to make their own Christmas cake like we do. But nowadays, if you do go to the supermarket, it is possible to find uh, a Christmas cake just for your dietary requirements. Christmas cake, you actually bake it for a very long time, at least one and a half hours. And because we're baking it at a low heat for one and a half hours, it's very important you prepare the right cake tin. So what I'm actually going to use is parchment paper, as we say in American English, or baking paper in British English, non-stick baking paper. And we're going to make sure that the bottom and the sides are covered with parchment paper. Before sticking on the parchment paper, we put a bit of butter on, on the uh, bottom of the pan so that the paper can properly stick to the bottom, otherwise it'll just go flying everywhere. Okay, so you're going to put the parchment paper on top, yeah, so that nicely sticks there and will stick nicely. So now it's ready to go inside the um, baking tin. important that you line properly the cake tin so that the actual cake will not actually burn into the cake tin. And also this is a cake tin where bottom you can actually push up so it's easy to actually um, take the cake out of the cake tin. Mum is just trying to cut the baking paper to the right height so it's looking more presentable. So we've got the parchment paper in the cake tin and we've put the mixture in and notice that there's a bit of a well in the middle. We always put a bit of a dip or well in the middle to make sure that the cake bakes evenly. So now this cake is going to go into the oven for how long, Mum? For about four hours. For four hours. At what temperature? Uh, very slow and very slow. So that means at guest mark two for about one and a half hours and then two hours at guest mark one. So that's very important is to slowly cook or bake the Christmas cake otherwise it will burn. Okay. the Christmas cake is nicely baked um, my mum has put it in parchment paper or baking um, paper and it's going to be stored in a tin for a long time it's best to store cakes in a tin rather than a plastic box and what she's done is done a fork and what she does is that leading up to Christmas before she ice the Christmas cake is that she adds brandy and we say that um, if you drink plenty of brandy, you'd be nicely preserved, like the Christmas cake. So you're just going to pour a bit in. Right, you do just, but just a little bit. Very little at the time. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. You've got to go all over it. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. So brandy, Christmas cake. Do you want it to soak them quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. So Mum is going to put the royal icing onto the fruit cake. And then she's going to use her bladed spatula to spread the royal icing over the cake. And give it a nice snowy effect.
Okay, should we put some on? Now I'm going to do the sides. I wonder why it's called water icing. Do you know? So we're having a white icing to represent the snow because people like to dream of a white Christmas. Mum, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes. When and where? When I was a young child. In the 50s? I can't remember, Sophie. Would have been the 50s, probably. Have you? Enjoyed a white Christmas in the last 40 years? Mm, no, it should be a good I think. No, I can't remember. Yeah, in the south of England, it rarely snows in December. Sometimes we have a, a flutter of snow mm -hmm. in, uh, in February, but just for one or two days. Mm. But if you go to cities like New York or Canada, um, you certainly do have a white Christmas. Looks like a Christmas cake now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do now? I'm going to put my own my Christmas decorations on the cake. Okay, so what you, can you put the gate post on? So that's the gate post, which says Merry Christmas. And now uh, we have some gnomes. So we have a gnome playing a gnome who's actually the conductor. I think the conductor actually should go um, here because he's going to conduct everyone. Then we've got the gnome playing the French horn. We have a gnome playing the string instruments. We have the gnome playing with the accordion. And then we have a little candle. Why? Because we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. And we've also got another gnome who's actually playing the lute. So voila, that's our Christmas cake. Here is the Christmas cake with the uh, special cake mixture, the marzipan and I presume royal icing. How does it taste? Very rich, mm -hmm. very moist, 
very festive. Fantastic. Thank you, Mum. Thank you very much for making our Christmas cake. And uh, you can see that the Christmas cake has been nicely decorated. The little gnomes, where it says Merry Xmas, which means Merry Christmas. And I'm going to have some with this nice clementine and cranberry Bucks Fizz uh, from Marks & Spencer's. Uh, so what is Bucks Fizz? Bucks Fizz is a mixture of sparkling wine and fruit juices. This one is um, with orange juice and cranberry. Wonderful, thank you very much, oh, Ursula. No, 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 Tom, Tom, no. Thank well, you. Can... Hello, Merry Christmas and also Happy New Year. I am toasting to you uh, with my uh, Bucks Fizz. Bucks Fizz is normally sparkling wine with fruit juice and this particular one is by Marks and Spencer's. It's Clementine and Cranberry Bucks Fizz, it's really nice. And I'm enjoying my Bucks Fizz with my mum's homemade cake, Christmas cake. Very rich fruit cake, made with lots of different ingredients, covered in marzipan and icing. Very nice, nice and moist, spicy, sweet. Just right. Perfect Christmas cake. Uh, thank you, Mum, for the Christmas cake. And uh, thank you, Ursula, for bringing the Bucks Fizz and also filming me. Mm. Very important to enjoy your cake with a proper cake fork as well. Thank you.